I can't tell if my vision's going if I'm actually blurry. Hey there. I am crouching like this because every other angle that I prop my camera up has sensory issues. I'm also gonna be dyeing my hair red. Let me show you. People keep telling me to dye my hair and I am a sucker for peer pressure, so. Forehead reveal, that's scary. Done it again, Martha. Curtain check. First, take off the seal. You can't get to the hair dye if the seal's on it. Fun fact. That is proper red. But with the lid, you just wanna... Also, does everyone have trouble finding their middle parting? I don't get how some people go out and they're like, they've just got like the perfect middle parting. Mine's always like, I'm gonna get my... Wow. Rub it into your skin because you never know if your forehead needs some blush. I start by just colouring my scalp in. Get me to it, yeah. Can I give myself a new forehead? Today's video. Bog, bog, bog. So last week has been basically in my room, chilling, not relaxing, stressed mental health declining but i'm trying to get like out of the slump so i'm doing things i like i'm doing some filming doing some editing keeping myself distracted you might think to yourself martha why don't you do some uni work and to that i don't i i ignore you today's video so i don't brush my hair because i went out for a brush it just looks like a dead cat sitting on my head I wish. No, today is going to be a tattoo tour. And I don't know whether to do them in like order of when I got them. First or last, first, first to last or last to first. They just get worse as I go backwards, obviously. I'm going to start with my most recent ones. Okay. Yeah. Should we do a triphobia warning? Triphobia. Tri is it tree triphobia or like tree phobia? It's not when you're scared of trees. It's like you don't like them. like loads of dots together just skip like 15 seconds. So the last one I got was a week ago. It's this, this is just a little strawberry with some eyes. My parents were gonna call me strawberry, but <laughs> funny enough, the midwife, like you know the lady who's all like getting the baby out of the body kind of thing. She was all like, no, no, sorry, can't allow you to do that. It's like, that's not even her decision. Like, okay, she didn't like ban them from saying that I was gonna be called strawberry. But she was like, what if she wants to be a lawyer? Like, she doesn't know me. She didn't even see me. Like, she saw me when I was a little fetus kid thing. But what? Really? And don't being a lawyer and being called strawberry, I don't see anything wrong with that. I'm not gonna get mad about it. There's still time to change my name, but strawberry. And then the eyes as the pips. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Um, that's because everyone's watching us all the time. I do get really paranoid. Obviously, like, government spying on us, but then also paranoid as in, like, the people that are close to me are, like, robots. But, like, they're, they're watching me for a different purpose. They're not just watching me in a friendly way. They're being, like, we're gathering information kind of thing. So everyone's always watching, and that's what the eyes are for. But, yeah, Strawberry. My nickname could have been Bear. Very, um, Straw. Straw! Because my hair's like straw. Like, was I fuzzy for the whole of that? I'm really sorry about that. Why don't I have autofocus on ever? I'm just not that kind of gal. About three weeks ago, I want to say, it's um, Haku from Spirited Away. I got my lovely Haku done because, well, first of all, how can you not like Spirited Away or any Ghibli movies? Like, it's a bit of a sin at this point. This one does represent Ruby. I haven't told her yet. I think Ruby resembles Haku. Like, not physically, obviously. Um, except from the fact that Haku like, looks around 12 years old. That is <laughs> physically accurate. Here's what I think. So you know one of um, Haku's powers is to implant memories into other people's heads. Well Ruby's got a really good like long term memory so she'll say the date and the whatever like the location of when like things actually happen at like, the time. Like, it's really creepy how accurate everything she says. I feel like she always like implants memories, not like obviously with powers but she just she describes it and then I'm like, oh my god, yeah, that happened. That's so crazy. How did you remember that? And also, Kaku's very wise and like kind hearted and stuff. Ew, this is so like disgusting. I'm being nice to Ruby. And also, it's just a sick movie. That one got a bit crusty. Well, they all get a bit crusty, but you know what I mean. Then the one I got before that, I think, was 
I should have written these down. The one I got before that was this cow. And my friend, oh, my friend Sean did it for me. It was when there were like COVID restrictions. So I was meeting everyone outside. At, sorry, I'm like laying down to talk to you. Oh, I've also realized I've like put my computer on the floor and I've like started doing all my work on the floor. Cause I realized if I go in bed, I'm not gonna do anything. And if I'm at my desk, I just it just doesn't suit me. So I'm like, I'm a floor gal. That's my new aesthetic. Floor gal. Anyway, I got distracted. So Sean gave me that tattoo. He got like a new tattoo. And I was like, I need a cow on my ankle right now. And this was during COVID restrictions. So we were outside in a little outside shed bit. Like it was just like a roof thing. But yeah, he got his machine out and like we got like an outside power um Thing. I forgot the word. Like a power unit, is it? Mm, maybe. And we're just doing outside and it was really nice. Probably one of the most like relaxing tattoos I got. But yeah, I got that because my nickname as a kid was Martha Moo, Massive Cow. Also, I'm a huge Doja fan, so it just kind of made sense. Cows are so cute. Like, how can you not like cows if you ate cat? Hate and ate. Damn. Society. Oh, I did a flame on my foot, but I'm not showing that because when Sean gave me a tattoo I was like, I need a tattoo but I'm so badly I really, really didn't because I kind of messed up um, But I didn't mess up on the one, the one on my foot, but I'm not showing my foot because foot fetishes are a thing and they creep me out But on the, my thigh, I did a skull and that's why I got um, Hacky on my thigh to cover the skull, even though it hasn't covered anything. Oh, mm, it's just not okay. But the one before that was I got Betty boob done right before uni, and she's a sassy little thing. You know, you know when you like come out of the cinema and you like embody different characters. I think I just started like watching loads of little clips of Betty boob, and I was like, I am her. And I went through a whole thing where like I did my hair like her and just was a complete wannabe. You know, just some people you're like, do I want to be them or do I want to like be with them? I know she's a cartoon, but you can like cartoons. There's like, something wrong with that, okay? Why am I getting angry at you? You haven't done anything. The one before that was I got milk tattooed next to the cow. I did that stick and poke myself and <laughs> I dotted it with my mole because I thought that was really funny and I did messy handwriting on purpose because why did I do that because it looks better mm -hmm. and milk because I love milk I drank a lot of milk that's why I'm so tall strong girls rise up I, I love milk Nesquik plain milk milk for bed warm milk hot milk boiling hot no no okay look, you took it too far martha calm i did that like two years ago three oh no it was like three or four years ago now that is so weird i did a little lightning bolt yeah and everyone thinks it's because i'm a harry potter fan no mm -mm. it's because lightning's my favorite weather but i'm not a harry potter fan <gasps> Sorry, my memory card just got a bit full. This one's not the best. That was my mates doing stick and poke, if you couldn't tell. I asked for a like picture of my granddad. <laughs> none of them that like none of them knew what they were doing. Like, none of them did a tattoo before, so I was like, sorry granddad. My first tattoo was this, the question mark. And my sister's friend Natasha did it, but she she was good. Like she knew what she was doing. I got it because I didn't know what to get. And like question mark, ah ha ha. Really original moth. It resembles my confusion like 100% of the time. So very accurate for me. Three people asked for this, and I was like, that sounds like a fun idea. So I don't know, but yeah, that's that. I might do like an updated one because I've got loads of ideas that I want to get, and just yeah. Have a productive week, have a curse for me, proper curse, like, I know I will, my finger's bleeding, okay, bye. Na 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 na, it's the mother, Snoopy, Snoopy, Snoop, Snoop Dogg, mother trucker.